everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope that you are all doing really, really well. I am off to do my food shop. I think I'm gonna pop into Aldi. I think I'm gonna go for Aldi today. And I also need to go to Tesco's because that is where we get the majority of Everly's dairy and gluten-free like products, items. So I thought I would do a what I got in Aldi, so sort of like a food shopping haul. Um, and I also thought I would take you along with me because my favorite thing about Aldi is the like middle aisles. I always seem to find a really good bargain. So Mark just called me because he has decided he wants steak for tea tonight. So I've got to pick him one of those up. But um, yeah, the middle aisle in Aldi always it's my favourite part of Aldi, so I just thought I would do like a real quick, like come shop with me, see if there's anything in Aldi and maybe Tesco's, obviously because I've got to go in there as well. And then I will show you everything that I've bought and also how I do my meal planning. I would be up waiting for you if you had to leave. unpack everything. I thought I would quickly run through what we got. We got the two pints of milk, one for me and one for Mark. We got the big pack of strawberries, 12 pack of yogurts which are basically just like the Actimel, taste exactly the same. 12 free range eggs. We got cucumber puff pastry and then for fruit we've got pears, apples, oranges and the big oranges these are Everly's favorite so we always pick those up then we also have bananas and then I picked up some white potatoes which I think that pack was 94p which I thought was a really good price and then two of the loose sweet potatoes we only get these because I prefer the sweet potatoes over these and we always make our own chip so mark and the girls normally have these and i will have this i've tried to put it in some order but i think it's pretty much everywhere to be fair um over here we have got some blackcurrant squash for the girls salad cream and then some of the double cream this is for us to have sir chicken and mushroom stroganoff which i will show you my meal plans after this We've got the lighter eight pack cheese triangles and we've got some yogurts down there for Vienna while she's at school. Then back here we've got a four pack of the spring water tuna chunks. We've got extra mature cheddar cheese, mushrooms and tomatoes. 
I normally pick up the really big pack of mushrooms, but they didn't have those there today. Then I picked up a whole chicken, which I'll use for a roast. We've got a carton of orange and apple juice, garlic bread, some reduced fat soft cheese, just some butter and hummus, and then I think under here we've got some ham as well. So, this section I was absolutely gobsmacked with. So, if you've watched any of my food shops before, you'll know that I always like to pop our meat in the freezer just because I never really know when we're going to eat what. So, I picked up some of the diced chicken breasts, which was 30% off, and then we absolutely love burgers in this house. So, I picked up two of the quarter pounders and they was for 75% off and then I also spotted these which we absolutely love chorizo in this house and these were four chicken and chorizo kebabs and those again were 75% off so I picked up two and it's just going to be perfect for me to pop all of that in the freezer and then on the morning that we choose to eat it then I can just take it out and defrost it. So then I picked up some rye crisp bread. I love these with tuna on top. Um, then I just grabbed some strawberry jam, chopped tomatoes and some baked beans. Some whole wheat pasta, sugar. And then all of these here are for Everly. I've tried to get her onto like soya yogurt and all those sorts of things, but she's just not interested at all. So I picked up these which are basically just like a yogurt for her so we've got a couple of the pouches of pears a couple of the mango and then underneath we also have the strawberry and apple those will literally last her probably about four days <laughs> then in the sort of frozen section I've picked up a stone bake ham and pineapple pizza chicken dippers just nice and easy to chuck in the freezer then we've got some mini corn on the cobs the girls absolutely love these we always pick them up some mixed vegetables and then also a dairy-free salted caramel ice cream for everly and then i picked up two packs of these because they are my favorite they are the red onion and goat's cheese like little parcels pasties whatever you want to call them but they are amazing and then I also picked up eight, or no, ten rocket lollies. Then moving back on to pasta, we've got two packs of the chicken and mushroom pasta and sauces. And this, which is new in Aldi, and I thought I would try it because I love risotto. This is the four cheese. I'd probably add something like maybe like chorizo or some chicken into that. And that'll be a meal for us all, which I thought was really, really good. Then we've got two packs of baby wipes. I picked up some honey hoops for Vienna because Everly's already got some of her own. And then two packs of the sweet and salted popcorn. So that's everything on here. Then moving over to here, we have 10 pack of cheese curls, some ready salted crisps. Then for our burgers, we have four sliced vegan brioche buns, obviously for Everly, and then four sliced normal brioche buns. Then we have some chocolate chip munch bars, which are exactly the same as the brunch bars that you can get from like Tesco or Asda. We have some safari snacks, some croissants, and then we have, oh no, this is Tesco, sorry. Oh, the last thing that I bought from Aldi, which Mark is just about to cook because we haven't had any tea tonight. Um, so these are why they are out on the side. But we picked up, I picked up a rump steak for me and then Mark has got this, <laughs> which we've never seen before in Aldi, but it is the Big Daddy rump steak. That was, I think that was £4.49 and mine was £2.39. So those were from Aldi. And then everything over here was then what I just quickly grabbed in Tesco. Um, Tesco do have an absolutely amazing deal at the moment with people that are on club cards. So these I think were, I don't know, maybe £1.80 or £2 each, but they were a pound with the club card. So I picked up the beef hula hoops and six packs of sweet and salted popcorn. Then these are normally one pound 
40 each but they were a pound so I got eight for Everly because this is what she drinks um, obviously she can't have milk so that is what she has then again on the club card these were £1.50 originally £3 so I picked up the innocent smoothies which are the orange mango and pineapple and I also picked up these for Mark which is the sweet chilli greys crunch again um, that was £1.50 on the club card then the only things that I grabbed for Everly because I didn't actually need too much for her because we still have stuff is I picked up this little chocolate sundae free from I don't know what it's like, I'm not sure whether Everly, Everly will like it, but I just thought I would grab it to see. And then this is the soft cheese that she has as an alternative, which is the coconut oil alternative to soft cheese, and she loves that. Then I also picked up some salami because I forgot whilst I was in Audi. I picked up two packs of the crumpets, which these were 37p each. For our steak tonight, I picked up some Stilton sauce for me, or Stilton to make Stilton sauce, and Mark has peppercorn sauce. Then we have some oven, bite, oven baked sweet potato fries, and then lastly we have some sourdough bread, which I absolutely love with poached eggs. I also realised that I picked up some bits from Home Bargains, so I thought I would just show you guys what we got whilst Everly is over there playing. A jumbo kitchen roll. I grabbed some comfort. I absolutely love this one. Um, it smells so beautiful. Some 101 carpet fresh, and that is in soft jasmine and linen. Then I also picked up some Harpic in Pine, which is one of my favourites for the toilets. And then I picked up this one for Upstairs, which is the Ocean Fresh. I've not tried that one before, but I thought I would just give it a go. Picked up my absolute favourite Dettol All-in-One Disinfectant Spray. I use this on pretty much everything, all the door handles, um, pretty much anywhere that the girls touch, light switches. Um, handles in the cupboard, handles in the cupboard? No. Handles on like our cupboard doors. It's just brilliant because you can just spray it on. Then I also picked up my favourite flash spray which is the bicarb of soda. That is perfect for bringing up any kind of lime scale or any dirt. I also picked up just some thick bleach. I always keep just a bottle of that in the house just if I need it. I also picked up two packs of the bathroom wipes these are just the ones that i grabbed from home bargains there's 50 wipes in each one and they were i think 59p then i also picked up some linen fresh the flora also i picked this one up which i haven't tried yet this is the fabulosa lemon lavender but i just thought it sounded really really nice so i thought i'd pick it up i then also picked up a glade relaxing zen um, plug in for upstairs on the landing. And lastly, I picked up some Air Pure Fresh Linen Wax Melts. There's eight in there, so I thought I would give them a try. So, before I finish this video, I thought I would just quickly come and show you my meal plan that I did before I went shopping. I've got little Everly here with me, who's not had her hair done. Have you? No, I don't. You don't want to yet, um, but she's watching her iPad if you're wondering what that annoying noise is. But I thought I would just show you exactly what I do before I go shopping. Normally, to be fair, I do do a list. However, this week I didn't. I kind of just went off <laughs> my own back, uh, which normally doesn't work out well. However, it has this week, so I'm actually quite glad. But this is what our meal plan looks like. I don't, I'm not going to lie, I don't stick to the exact days. So if on a Thursday I don't fancy the risotto, but I fancy like a lasagna or a spag bowl, then I literally just change them around. This is really just so that I know how many meals we've got and what meals we've got in the week. So these won't change, but the days will. I just think it works better that way. So... We have got a chicken and mushroom stroganoff. We've got burgers with sweet potato fries. And then for Mason and the girls, they will have corn on the cob. And me and Mark will have mushrooms and tomatoes. 
Then on another night, we have chicken chorizo kebabs. Then we have risotto. And then we've also got either a spag bowl or lasagna. Then we, these two normally will stay the same. So we will have a roast chicken on Sunday. And then for Saturday, I just thought that we could do some kind of fake way, whether it be with burgers. I'm not really too sure because we've obviously got this on another night. So that may change, um, but I could make anything like a fake away Chinese. So our food all together. So the Tesco's came to £26, I believe it was. And then for Audi, it was £72. But that is the end of my shopping haul, both for Audi, Tesco's and Home Bargains. I really hope that you enjoyed this and I will see you on our next video. Thanks guys, bye!